So we're going to call the meeting to order at 5.32. And the first item of business is the roll call. And Ms. Held, I assume that you can ascertain who's here and who isn't here. Yeah. Okay. Um, the next item of business is the approval of the agenda. Are there any comments on um, I'd the like agenda? I'd like to suggest we move item 10-7, the MOU, to the first thing in action. Not change the number, but have it as the first action item because we'll, we may have people here and, you know, making them wait to the end seems kind of... Do you need a second or no? No, we can do that by acclamation. I guess my only concern, I, I agree with the sentiment of it. My only concern would be if somebody has looked at the agenda and they say, oh, that's quite a ways <laughs> down the agenda. Are we? Uh, well, it would be hard to tell at that point if it would be 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock, depending on our <laughs> discipline. Anyway. Um, Carrie, do you have any I'm okay comment? with that. I'm okay either way. I'm not okay, let, let us move it then to the... Uh, just change the number, just the beginning of action, is that right? Yeah, so we're going to move item 10.7 in front of item 10.1. Let's make it 10.0. <laughs> Big pardon? Let's make it 10.0, then the other numbers can stay. Oh, I, I wasn't changing its number, I'm just moving it. Yeah. I would like to um, pull items 9.4 and 9.5 from the consent agenda. It's the professional development ones. What, 9.4? And 9.5. Pull them for? Because I want to discuss it. Oh. Okay. And I have one more. Well, well wait, let's oh. decide where those are going to go. When we pull them out, we have to put them Oh, gotcha. In. And since we're going to be voting on them, they need to be in the action session. Um, so item pre that was previously 9.4 is going to be 10. Um, How about just after number, what's currently number six? I'm sorry? How about just putting it at the end of what's currently number six? Um, uh, okay. We, 9.8, then you don't have to renumber seven and have everything roll, you know. Okay, so we'll make them 9.7 and 9.8, but when we consider the consent agenda, we'll make it clear that those are excluded 10.7 and 10.8 is what you meant right you're moving them to action i ron wasn't it your suggestion oh, we no. move them to the end of yeah the, but they be what i was thinking they become 10.7 and 10.8 oh right because okay. they're out of consent that's, yeah yeah that's that's fine 10.7 just move to the bottom of action Four and five. And 10.7, 10.8. 9.5 moves to 10.8. 10 but but now we're going to have to renumber 10.7, which I initially blocked at. So 10.7 is going to be 10.0. Okay, I have one more. Okay. Um, I would like to have item 10.6, review and approve the 2016-17 developer fee annual report and five-year plan amendment removed from the agenda. Last month, we approved the developer fee annual report and five-year plan. I researched government codes 66001 and 66006. The February 2014 Cayucas developer fee report by Vav Wrinkle, Trine and Day Developer fee do's and don'ts from attorneys Miller, Brown, and Danis in the 2014 Slow Grand Jury Report that was filed against us um, for developer fees. We did not follow the current guidelines about what was to be included in the plan slash report. 
nor did we meet the 15-day requirement to have the report plan available to the public for 15 days prior to taking action. On January 6, 2018, I submitted two agenda requests. One, to rescind the motion of approval, and two, to do the report correctly. Superintendent Smith says the report plan was available in the front office for 15 days. As a board, we did not even see it until the agenda was published. How would the public know it was available? I asked for proof it was available for 15 days, and Superintendent Smith said the statute does not require proof. Let's let that sink in. Government code requires 15-day period for public review, yet our superintendent cannot prove it was available. That doesn't sit right with me. My agenda requests were denied in violation of board bylaw 9322 agenda meeting materials. Any board member, the superintendent, or member of the public may request that a matter within the jurisdiction of the board be placed on the agenda of a meeting. The board president and superintendent shall determine whether a request, I'm reading from the law, within the subject jurisdiction of the board, items not within subject matter jurisdiction of the board will not be placed on the agenda. If the requested item is not to be, repla is not to be placed on the current agenda, the requester and the board will be notified in writing of the classification and disposition of the request. I was notified, but the board was not notified in writing. Additionally, all items that are within the subject matter jurisdiction of the board will be placed on the agenda in a timely manner. This is within the subject matter jurisdiction, so no, why not on the agenda? The amendment, on, the amendment on this agenda has the report plan posted after the requirement that requires posting within 180 days of the end of the fiscal year. Approving it now makes us out of compliance with the 180 day within the end of the fiscal year requirement does not meet the 15-day posting requirement and is significantly different than the report plan for last month, which should require a new motion, not an amendment. Superintendent Smith, you looked at this more than anyone else. I did. consulted verbally with legal counsel. They said the statute does not prohibit amending a timely filed report. They said we should not rescind the prior report because it was filed in a timely manner. And so I was following legal counsel's advice. Um, the prior report, um, arguably could be or could be not in compliance with all the requirements. Um, the statute does not require you to report non-activity, it requires you to report activity. And so on certain items where there was no activity, like no expenditures of developer fee funds last year, no expenditures were reported. It didn't say none. So this um, amended report is more explicit. It says none when there's no activity instead of just not reporting no activity. Um, it also um, is improved in several other ways. Um, the existing report that was approved at last meeting was a report that was developed after the grand jury report to be in compliance by Dr. Pret Brescia and I believe Mary Jarvis, who was in the business office at the County Office of Ed at the time. Um, all that's been happening in this district since then was updating the numbers in that report annually. Um, so I didn't, all we did was pull last year's report and update it annually, which was done from the previous year. As far as the five-year plan on it, the five-year plan wasn't due yet anyway, so um, we just do it annually so that that way we never miss the five-year mark. Um, so to me, the five-year plan part of it really doesn't matter one way or the other. Um, and as far as the annual report, um, I could argue point by point that it was in compliance. Um, because the statute doesn't require reporting non-activity. Um, but if we follow Trustee Friend's recommendation, then um, we would be rescinding a timely filed report and then 100% sure we'd be out of compliance. You'd be rescinding the motion. The report was still filed timely. I didn't ask to rescind the posting of it. It would still be there, it was my original request. My second request was then to do it correctly. So okay, just, be I'm, just because the statute, it says 15 days for the public to see it. How do you justify that the public 
had 15 days to look at it when board members just got it Friday. How would a member of the public All it know? All says is it has to be available in the office 15 days. Doesn't say it has to be posted anywhere. Doesn't say it. Okay, well, when was that document created? How, I mean, that just seems to not be going against. The bottom line is, is that I was trying to address your concerns. I was trying to um, update it in a manner that was acceptable to you and doing my best to do so. I asked to talk to you on the phone about it and you told me you'd prefer to talk in email. And, and there's nothing and, wrong with that. But clarifying what you want on your agenda request and whether you're rescinding the document or rescinding the motion, I'm not sure what the difference is, but I would like to have had that conversation with you. But once you tell me all I want is everything in writing, um, frankly, I feel like you're setting me up. Okay. and trying to get documentation to prove I'm doing something wrong. So what other natural reaction do I have but to pull back some and work with the lawyer to try and make sure we're in compliance? You don't give me any choice, Terry. Our interpretations of our meetings haven't jived before, so face-to-face -face sometimes doesn't work. This is government code. To me, if government code says something and what's required in the report, Whoever made that grand jury request back in the day very well likely could still be out there. I would not be happy to have another grand jury request doing the same thing incorrectly that we were told in the um, justification report, we were told in the grand jury report. It outlines exactly the five or six things that are needed in each report. So after the comment last month about uh, President Troop saying the school is under no obligation to return fees, I went and looked around a little bit more. The, re the reports and the requirements are extremely clear, and it's also clear that what we have wasn't doing it. And if you're threatened by my wanting to follow policy, I can't change your um, perception of that. I still require that stuff gets followed. Okay. Um, my suggestion, uh, Susan, do you no, I just had a question. Because I'm a little confused. Um, can you like, what's your main like? God didn't follow. Like what? Like, this is my agenda request, and it says the report. If you look at what we did last month, doesn't it's supposed to say type of fees collected, amounts collected, beginning and ending balances, total amounts collected, interest earned, information regarding each project. Of course, if there is none, just say there's none. Um, Interfund transfers or loans. Want I want us to follow whatever the correct rule is. This report, if you look at what we've been given in the past that says your report has to have X, Y, Z, blah, 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 I want those in the report. And if the government's code says it's available for 15 days, most other districts post it on their website and tell everybody, hey, it's on there. Not just, oh, by the way, it could have been in the office, which I kind of feel like we the statute use... specifically says available in the office. It does not say okay. it has to be posted okay. anywhere. Okay. What, what we're dealing with now is not the details of this. I, it doesn't say in the office. Mr. Wilson. Um, procedurally, it seems like there's a way to do this is to table the motion, table the item when it comes up, to, to pull it and have this discussion over there's not going to be a resolution to this and um, I, I think we should go ahead and then have use the procedures at her uh, for Robert's rules of order where you can table table the item and bring it back or create another form of it or whatever so that's my I think it should remain there because for a number of reasons. The interpretations that I'm hearing are that, that you have to do certain things that your, your feeling is that we have to notify the public that the item is there. If it says it only needs to be available in the office, that's all. And that, if it says it has to be posted, yeah, we, you have to inform the public that it has to be posted. 
then that's a that's a different kettle of fish. So it says made available. Okay, okay, it's available if it's in the office, and uh, as I understand it, it was. So the, this okay, uh, my what I'm going to rule is that we will leave item uh, must be 10.6 on the agenda where it is and we will have some discussion under that item we are not going to pull it from the agenda and uh, uh, well, i'll save my comments until later are there any other comments on the agenda no okay is there a motion to approve the agenda as modified? I make a motion that we approve the agenda as modified. Is there a second? I'll, I'll second it. I'm sorry? I'll second it. Okay. Sorry. Member Brown, I'll second it. Uh, is there uh, any further discussion? Ms. Help, will you call the roll, please? Member Wilson? Aye. Member Brown? <coughs> Member Wright? Aye. Member Truth? Aye. Member Friend? No. Okay, so the agenda as amended has been accepted. Um, the next item on the agenda is public comment on closed session agenda items. Uh, does anyone want to make a public comment on the closed session agenda items? Hearing none, then we will move to closed session. Thank you.